I guess I can start my stream. <laughs> right, oh if, my god. If you guys have not started it, I'm gonna go take it this room. Bring the mic with what? Ah! Crap, why does it get. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna keeps pull going that. away. New egg. I'm gonna. I might no, get a I new. No, I want it at the top. Now it's down there. My Discord. Did you get a haircut? Technically, I got them all cut. Nice. Went to one of us. Maybe it was one of us. I don't. I had that. You did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Should I get the Unikuma gaming headset, gaming headphones with microphone noise, RGB LED, PS4, PS5, PC headset? Absolutely not. RGB is overrated. <laughs> yeah, no, you I don't. Can't know. even my see it. As my, as my entire setup is RGB. <laughs> you can't. Like, what's the point? It just uses more power. The, the only RGB I have is this. Uh, what's What's the point, Flex? Yeah, yeah I have it in my mouse, I have it on my keyboard, I have it on my fucking RAM sticks. Yeah, it's on balls. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. I guess yeah, my, computer my balls. <laughs> my balls are RGB plated. Always blue. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess there's the stripe of RGB on the front face of my PC. Ah, what do you guys? Okay. What do you guys think of wireless headsets? Like, what is the consensus yeah. on those? Um, it, honestly, I quite like mine. Yeah? It's great, because I can listen to you guys when I go take a piss. Yeah. Oh, but... I don't know, you're just going to say the most uncomfortable fucking shit whenever you leave. Oh, the... Oh, oh, you're so yeah. handsome. <laughs> it, it's definitely Fire. one of those, if you... What the... The reason I quite like yeah. mine is because I... I have for DMing, I've got a lot of shit fucking everywhere. So sometimes I have to get up and continue a fucking conversation as I'm trying to do shit. And yes, it is the most aggravating fucking shit. Sometimes. Why aren't you staying on, stay on top, bitch? You think these would make me look like an epic gamer? Stay on no. top. Stay on nothing, top. Nothing can save you there. Stay on top. What? what? You tell her, Justin. No, my yeah, Discord please. video thing isn't staying on top. I'm clicking the pin and it just keeps going away. That, so, all right. Herbie likes others on top. Got it, it just, it. <laughs> Stay on the top. It, defense, ah, that's what I was looking for. Defense, defense, rah rah rah. Defense, defense, but, rah rah rah. I don't understand. Well, I gotta so, put, the, I, gotta, I gotta put this character in, and I gotta, you know, make sure his stats are all set up correctly, because you know I gotta. Used to be you, you guys want to know what some of the, uh, the reason I bought Baldur's Gate 3 was? What? I got a $250 check I was not expecting from the government. No. Why? My, uh, my renters rent, rebate. My, yeah, my renters rebate. Yes, sir. Out. Okay. I completely no. forgot Ooh. about it. Oh, my is coming in. Oh, it's this cool epic thing. Uh, I, th I don't know if you have to be in low-income housing to get it or how it works, but... Um, I am definitely not in low income housing, so. Oh, I definitely am. That's so dumb. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I don't know. Actually, maybe, maybe this is. Maybe college housing is low income housing. <laughs> <laughs> when did it happen? Oh, you said it was episode eighteen, right? Yes. Yeah, like you, you get a you get a tax rebate basically from property taxes. Yeah. Big Poppy Biden gives us a check. Was it just like a check that came in the mail recently, or? Well, you have to fill it out as part of your tax return. Right. That so I got, if I did, I would have got it back during yeah. my taxes. No, like they'll mail it to you, but they'll mail you your check. But yeah. Oh, huh. I have no idea because I did all the tax. Oh, I had I had the H and R did, block basically do. Did your landlord like give no, you they, your David so I sent that, David. and I sent that to uh, my tax person? Yeah, then then you should be getting a check. Probably not as much as I got because I paid like time and a half what you did, but 
So you, you'll probably get like 150, 175. That's or something. Yeah. Yeah, you, you should be getting finals. All my stuff and things on. Like so. And like so. And like so. I said prepare to torture these four souls. There's you said that, uh, that, that Gage was going to be able to join us? Yeah, because he's on vacation, no. right? Yeah, he's not going to be here. So, remind me, is this the morning of the 27th? I thought we didn't even finish the last day last night. We time. ended right after combat. Yeah. Yeah. After the, after the, after the fight with the sword guy yeah, on the third day. The sword guardian. Okay. For some reason I have us marked uh, as the 27th. Probably because we were going to go right into it, but... Alright. Well... Um, I believe that fight was at the end of the night, so I'm assuming you guys would all go back to the tavern. Um, I would ask the party if they want to go check out a cool epic house that I just bought. For real. Did, did he actually buy a house? Yeah, he I, I he bought a house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, he did. He bought an old, decrepit pro plot of land. When did this happen? Yeah, uh, he, I remember it now. Yeah. Did, did this, was I, like, doors. fucking passed out or something? You were drunk. Oh. Yes. <laughs> That's right! I was drunk last Pathfinder stream! <laughs> yeah. So, uh... You, you I don't remember a, shit! <laughs> you bought a house... In a town that if we win, we're going to have to leave immediately. Yeah. Yeah, well, is that bad? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? It's only like, <laughs> oh god, I don't even remember. It's like 120 gold. It wasn't too much. I actually got a great deal, and it's in a a good, very good location for uh, for my future endeavors, you know. For the cobalt aid, as you put it. Hmm. Exactly. I, I want to. Was anybody with him? No. No. Looking down at noon. I wasn't with him. Okay, that's what I was asking, so I was like, I don't remember this anymore! <laughs> so I can't have... recall! Nope, he did this all on his own. Mr. B, that, well, this would be a good lesson for you. What do Prophetic Tapses in this area look like, Jacob? Don't you even dare! <laughs> <laughs> um, based on the current market and the current I will end both of it, you. I'm I'm guesstimating the uh, taxes to be uh, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> we can say anything. I cast wish. Give the grass tongues. I suck the big orc mommies. Anyway, <laughs> I will find where you live. <laughs> you know where uh -oh. we live. Not, I know where you live. Not the other one. Uh -oh. Justin. Oh. Josh. Oh. Oh. He, he said he wished that grass had t had tongue. I'll do me a favor and lock your door. I'll be there after the stream. Can I watch? No, you get off to that. <laughs> that's the point of watching. And that's the point of the denial. <laughs> Agreed, Weeb. Oh, what did Weeb say? He did the alert for screaming, <laughs> and he wishes to unhear. Weep, <laughs> it's okay. Me too, Weep. Oh, man. Me too. 
So. Mr. B. How are you going to fix this house up if we have to step down? Um, I I was gonna see if there's any uh any builders in the city that could help out, you know, or uh, help me, you know, get things ready and started. Mr. B, they're gonna need payment. Yeah. As well as materials. Oh, I have a plan for that. Don't you worry. Gonna like, have to do this I, within two days. Oh, uh, maybe. I'll answer that. That's not happening. And all we gotta do is just get the ball rolling. Done what? Into a pile of orphans? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the least we can do is see the house he bought. Yeah. I swear if I'm able to lean up Before we rapper, burn it down. What could possibly go wrong? Well, what kind of insurance policy do you have on this land? Um I uh I got the uh I think it's three hundred percent interest rate, uh six year mortgage. Is it insurance <laughs> is insurance fraud not permitted? <laughs> it should be doesn't even know what insurance is. I don't think they have insurance. Mr. Hart never <laughs> never told him about insurance. I'm, su I'm surprised that that shrewd man never never thought about making people pay money in order to have things be normal. All right, let's go look at this house. Perhaps we can give a housewarming party. Money. They already do that. <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. All right, so you go. To this house. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Would you all roll me perception, please? Oh no. For... Oh yeah. fuck! I don't even have yeah. the character sheet up. My god. I am unprepared. All right. How dare you? How dare you, Dustin? Be unprepared. It was almost in that one, boys. <laughs> I got an 18. Good start the stream there, Dustin. I got a 14. How was that almost in that one? Because it almost rolled on that one. Oh. It was like teetering okay. and then hit seven. Okay. So what's the highest? One I got an two. 18. Oh, one he got a 20. Mr. B, you don't get to roll. <laughs> oh, I see. Yo, you, you think this is like a great property. You think this is a steal. You know, <gasps> your, your opinion is already kind of sealed itself. Honestly, I heard the, the price was... <laughs> Uh, Austin, I believe you were the other highest. 22, correct. <laughs> Dustin sent me a video on Facebook Messenger. Just looks official. Yeah, he sent you Austin, to this bitch. building's... <laughs> There's a roof. <laughs> it's not all in one piece, but it's a roof. Is it walls. like attached to other buildings, or is it is it kind of separate from everything else? No, it's it's its own it's its own building. Mending. Oh, that'd be so positive. There, there's walls, mm -hmm. but there's an extra door. Meaning a doorway hole. actually is the best way to put it. There's an extra door frame. No, there's a. There's a hole in the wall. You know yeah. That, you know that show hole. hole in the wall? <laughs> the few windows it has are uh, open. Without glass? Yeah. Some more holes. <laughs> so, so Jacob, um, is so, like, the state of this um, like damage? Is it like, like what kind of damage is it? Is it just things like broken and stuff, or is it like uh, just kind of uh, falling apart? Mending would not be enough. As far as you would understand and know, Mister B. Um, yeah, that's totally fixable. Oh, sick. <laughs> How about from the person who's good at crafting? I don't know. Are do you do you build houses? 
mostly a metalsmith. Yeah, you would have very little knowledge in this area. Cool. You make brackets so the people who can build the house can put the doors on. Uh, so what's the estimate then, Dabs? If I lean against the support post, would it break? I don't know. Do you lean against the support post? I'm going to put my hand against it and gently push. It, you would definitely hear the building creak, but it does not topple over. Isn't look this great down day? Mr. B. Look, he looks back at you, almost like there's a glimmer in his eye. I think that's about an alley's in better shape than this house. It's alright. Oh, thank you. Oh, I have a great plan. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Can you add the plan with us? That is a, oh, um... It's, that's a secret. That is a 14 deception. Oh, I have I have to roll uh perception. <laughs> and uh what insight no not not insight anymore. What is it just, yeah, it's just perception, right? A thirteen. You lucky bastard. <laughs> yep, it's great. <laughs> so, I have a plan, guys. Don't you don't you worry. You're, Mr. Uh, B get could not be honest. Yeah. It'll be cheaper building a building from scratch than trying to repair this. But I am thinking on the same wavelength as you. My business brain is a turn in it, and I am, I am so ready for this. So no worries. Trust me. The boulder will roll, and we will see where it lands, my friends. Not on the children, please. <laughs> <laughs> Rocks, can you can Every you share us died. the plan you've made to rework this building, please and thank you. You guys will just have to trust me. No, you have to tr trust me. I have gone to the school B, of marketing. The, I the way that I'm gonna put this, mm -hmm. if you're not gonna tell us, we're not helping. If you're fine with that, go right ahead. If well, it comes down on all of us, we will deny involvement. That's that's okay. That's great. I, you guys don't want to help me. That's cool. I, you know, I just I want Again, to be surprised for you guys. We would like we would like to hear what the plan is if we're gonna help. Hmm. <sighs> I really don't know if I should tell you. Maybe, maybe that I'll is your uh, prerogative. Hmm. But if you're not, he's gonna start heading for the actual door <laughs> yeah well i was just thinking out of character i don't know if mr, yeah. mr. b would you open the door me. and it falls off the hinges <laughs> you're gonna just set the door inside leaning against the wall with a bombing sigh okay you guys are also my <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> I'm made of metal. <laughs> you fall through the floor. <laughs> Ooh, sick basement. Is there sick. a basement? Yes. Is it filled with dead basement? bodies? What's in the basement, Jacob? Uh, it looks like mostly um barrels abandoned. Used probably used to be some food store room, but clearly abandoned. If you could smell, um. Bad. Probably some dead mice, but it's been even with your 22, you can tell that this basement area has been long abandoned. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna look at the stairs before I even try to go back up. Good luck. Is there any booze Dad. down there, cats? <laughs> I'm going to take one step on the stair. Puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and, and you hope 
hoping for like a stealth to move light footedly up them, J Top. He's made of metal. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's no roll he can make that will get him up these stairs. Yeah, I have Mr. an idea. To get... Yeah. Were you thinking about destroying, destroying this place and starting from scratch? Actually, well, you know what? I'll tell you guys. Quick, quick, that, just answer the question, Mr. B. Were you planning on destroying this place and starting from scratch? Well, I was thinking of reusing the materials, and then maybe we can get a discount. Okay, you know? okay. Um, would you like to get everybody out of the building now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, just uh, calling up from the hole. Hey, uh, we might want to evacuate the premises. Uh, that's what Gats said. Um, Jacob, oh. once everybody's out of the building, I'm raging. So, oh as God. he says that, I'm just gonna, like, cast, um, what the fuck is it called? God damn it, why can't I think of it off the top of my head? I just have to go look at it. Produce flame, and just hold a flame in my hand, and say, ah, so we're gonna burn it to the ground. No, he said no. he's gonna reuse the materials. So we're gonna burn it to the ground. No, 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 no. Put them away. Put the flame. Oh. Oh. Jacob, Why I'm destroying supports anyway? that are in the basement. Zerk, please forgive us. <laughs> I, I, there's a reason why I'm raging. I know it's gonna hurt. Okay. Okay. I, I know. I, I don't know how to get out of here without getting more material down in the hole to fill the hole, Jacob. Bump and put your claws through the concrete and climb up. I need a hole to do that! I didn't fall straight through the edge! I fell in the middle of the floor! Hey, you guys want to know something funny? I have a spell called Helpful Steps, but <laughs> you won't use them because they're made of magic. <laughs> Hudson has uh, made his grave quite literally. Um. Hey, hey, Gats, I could get you some stairs if you like. Um, they are made of magic, but I don't know if you'd like them. Even or odd, Austin? Odd. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> now I'm getting scared. Oh, God. oh no! This would be so fun to death. Austin, I don't think you saw that. What? That was an 80 on a severity Ooh. roll. Nice! Oh, I was kind of hoping that was the damage. No. no. However, you will take about 20 points of damage, which I know is nothing to you. However, somehow, a one of the support beams on the second floor has somehow made its way in between several of your joints, and you now have a pole going from the top of your right arm through your fucking body. Oh god. <laughs> Is he pinned there? Have fun with that. I'm gonna pull that bitch out. Even or odd? Odd. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, oh. good sir, if you would please make me. Oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> mm, I didn't think Gats was gonna LNG. be dying. Out of A combat. dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, reflex. Huh. Hmm, a, a reflex save, huh? Yes. Where the fuck is my saves? I have a plus nine. What? 23. Well, as you pull this giant basically spike out of the side of your body, it hits several things on the way up. Because 
would you believe the check was harder than a 20? Was it harder than a 23? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So how much is our tank crippled himself before the big fight? <laughs> you can take a long rest, be fine. Not if you broke your fucking oil pump that is your heart. Hey, we know where the blacksmith lives. <laughs> I know how to repair myself. Because I built myself. <laughs> You hit a, as far as you can tell, maybe a gear or something on the way up, as your right arm is now disabled. I'm gonna be so pissed in the morning. Um, Justin? Yes? Are you okay? I'm not beating. Is there enough material for me to climb out now? And is that how much of the building is intact now? Yeah, it's or is it all, close your is eyes it all and down? follow my voice hey, so I can help you. There's a couple of walls still up. And that's it. That's fine. But is there oh, enough material to, to, to climb out now? Uh, you first you need to make an athletics to unbury yourself. You get at that. Is he have a negative to it for being down and all them? Ah, I'm just taking that into account, don't worry. Uh, that is a 22. It takes you a while, but you are able to unbury yourself, yes. Jacob, I'm just gonna cast helpful steps just to leave the option there. Just, uh... Para, like they're magical. I think they look wooden, though. They just file right up back to the top. Just gonna leave that there. I pointedly ignored it. Yeah. Roll me athletics to attempt to scale unarmed. Did we help him? I don't know. Even Rod. Odd. It'll work one of these times. You know the fucking evil one. Is. Well, I mean, even a dead, you're gonna fall and you. break your left arm. Thank you. You are able to climb up, although barely, as you're not used to climbing without both of your arms. There. Raw material. Oh, thank you. Are you okay? Do you need a smith? I'm fine. That's why. Oh god. That is a deception of three. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is a perception of 28. <laughs> um, you don't look kind to me. Uh, is, is there anything you could do to help? fight in the morning or the night fit of tomorrow? Uh, your fight will be tomorrow, will be in the night. It'll be in the evening. Do you know what the blacksmith lives, Dad? I'll stop by first thing in the morning. Benji, hey, uh-uh, down. Mr. B, if you, uh, said to go on any more of these little house buying adventures I said could you please bring one of us with you yeah if, if anyone if you guys want to come with me I gotta go um I'm gonna go talk to some guys tomorrow about using this to build a little thing if you guys want to come with I think Jax needs a little bit of a break <laughs> that's that's okay uh, Gats, I need can... to fix my arm tomorrow because it is you know, just dangling off the side of my my body. 
I, I've got some good rust and some water. We'll help you out with that. Uh, <laughs> the equipment you got. Two things I do not do. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Neither do you. By that yeah, same I, I don't, token. I don't know why I said that. It was. I, hmm. Weird. Any. Anyway. Mr. B is very concerned for cats, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the tavern. Probably spend half part of the night just tanking off and off the arm off the, just so I can look at it and see what actually needs to be done tomorrow. All right. All right. And I, I had a conversation I was going to have with Niccolo, so this is going to be a perfect backdrop for it. <laughs> Me looking at my arm. Alright. So is everyone going to the tavern now? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I'll be right back. Um, <laughs> Josh, Josh I hope you know that this is great. <laughs> 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 You all get to the tavern. The usual suspect is sitting in the same seat he has every single day you've come back from a fight. <laughs> I'm just gonna be drinking looking a Mr. beer. I'm gonna look at Mr. Hart eating some and go, food. You are a terrible influence on Mr. B. It's Mr. Mr. B would be it would probably within, be in within your shot. Like all I did was give him a little bit of insight. What he does with it is his own prerogative. He bought a ship. And I'm gonna look at my arm that is currently pierced through with a rafter. And what he does with it is his prerogative. Just saying. Very impressionable. Taking the words quite literally to heart, Mr. Hart. <laughs> well, that can be both good and a bad thing, but seeing as your current predicament, it looks like you got speared. Good, accurate terminology. In this case, it seems. Yeah, 50-50 so far. Also, the idea of cobalt <laughs> God, why would you squeeze cobalt? They're quite useful creatures. What are we talking about? Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Gats yeah, is telling Mr. Hart that he's a terrible influence on you. Oh, <laughs> and he, they, he was he told Mr. Hart what the name of your business was and he goes why would you squeeze kobolds that's a they're terribly useful creatures no it, it, it's not like that it's, it's uh you'll just you'll just have to see <laughs> trust me you'll hey you know you'll see me as a a, 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 a real good businessman after that I think after the whole uh, banking debacle, he's holding there, Mr. Rock and Business. Of... Well, while I go take a look at my arm, Niccolo, might I have a quick conversation with you? Sure. Right. Will you do Go that up to thing? either of our room. Probably yours, so you can work on your shit. Hmm. So I'm assuming just the crafting to, to take off an arm and, and look at it, see what actually needs to get replaced, yes. right? Okay. I'll take care of that first. 
<laughs> oh no! You can't win today. You just can't win. Da 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 da. Making everything so much worse. Thirty two. It's low. That's crafting of eleven. It's not gonna do. It's not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can live with that. So as you begin to pull the arm off. As the gears start to unmesh together, the piece of wood that got stuck in between loosens up, and the gears start to turn again. However, they're not properly meshed, so now several of them are... Well, they, they won't mesh together well anymore. They're fucked. Ugh. So I've taken a look at it and just setting it on the table with the with a sigh. Just look over the uh, from the chair that he was sitting down at and look over it. This debacle is so good. You had some interesting things to say, or uh, one of the, one of the other times about my fighting style. Yes, I um, uh, recognize it in my time in the academy. At least, uh, originally for a single sword, but you adjusted it to uh, two-handed. Looking back down at my other arm, <laughs> wonder if I'm gonna have to go back to that. <laughs> anyway. I was I just disarmed you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read this. Uh, I was kind of curious about you talking about your time in the academy and all that. Is that your eventual goal? Goal? Go back to the Empire? Despite how poorly it treats non lizard folk? Yes. I had to work harder than everyone else. I was doing pretty good until... the thing happened. Until your race caught up to you, it sounds like, and somebody wanted you out of the running. For a, for a race as dogmatic as us, as soon as somebody starts picking up the pace to try to be on level pegging, there's a lot of people who put them right back down. How exactly do you plan on going back there without, you know, getting arrested and killed? Well, Irby, as he's saying that in your ear, you just hear, you'll just have to be better than everyone else. <laughs> well, before I could really even worry about that, I need the money. To get the boats to go over there. So until I get transportation. My, I think my point is with the these godlike beings whispering in all of our heads. Are you just gonna ask for money to go across the way? And if that's so, then how the hell are you gonna prove that your name is false and tarnished? Well, I have to find whoever impersonated me. The Empire's not exactly a small area. You get the dodge of all the entire time. Correct. I knew it was not going to be easy. But I'm hoping.
family. Would you actually get framed for it? Maybe get, if you'd let me know, I can try to think of some ways to help clear that. I was framed for, um, with a group of people who are planning to assassinate the Emperor. But it never panned out. I obviously had nothing to do with it. But they had substantial evidence against me and they banished me. It's surprising that they would just banish you instead of executing someone who was wanting to try to well, kill. Well, I guess the no Emperor. crimes were ever really committed. We never, they never actually went through it before a they got caught. Attempt of treason is still treason. I do not know. Sounds more likely they, they just wanted you gone. It was their choice. No. I w could have said at one point in the past you could have talked to my old man. He did a, he did a long time in the, uh, in the stories that he told me, at least when I was growing up. He was in the Empire for a long time. Like, I thought he was named before, but you didn't recognize him. But, yeah, maybe, maybe my uncle would be able to help you say your name, potentially. No. He's been over here for about the same amount of time that my, my father and myself have been. From what they told me, they, I was born at, over the Empire, but brought me over here for whatever reason. Not the start of my other life or what. But he might be able to shed some more light and uh, go from there. That would be very helpful. I don't know. I guess the main thing I was going to you know, suggest is figure a way to clear your name here or learn to live life over here and give up on the empire. Clearly it ain't done you favors. That's my two suggestions. Not saying one way or another is gonna be the way you go. But I certainly don't have love for the empire. It's treated a lot of people that I care about in, in my own town like shit just because of who they are. Plus, they like the cozy up tomatoes. And you know why? How is that? Right. Like I said, I'm more neutral to the Empire or against the Empire. I couldn't give a shit. The way I'm just saying it right now, if you go back, you're just a hang. You're just liable to get yourself a hang. I'll just have to be careful. by a false name. It's a start. Start you've already taken? Perhaps. Gotta figure. Otherwise your name would have been on the register from when you got arrested before. Like I said, just think it through. I definitely wouldn't recommend going over there until you already got your name cleared. But that's another, that's your choice. Thank you, Dan. Like I said, maybe my uncle will know something when we get over to, uh... Or short? No. Or maybe. 
or maybe he'll just confuse the matter even further. Who fucking knows? Mm -hmm. Well, we will see. Jacob looks like he's wanting to say something. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He unmutes and just smiles. He's not even saying anything. Why are you even unmute? Uh, to to send a message. Yeah. Anyway, I should let you get your food and relax for the night. Yes, and you should. Um... There's nothing I can do tonight. I gotta reforge some shit. Ah, uh, well, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna need it at this point. As soon as he leaves, <laughs> I'm gonna. I had one other conversation I was gonna have. The one I talked to you about two weeks ago, Jacob. I'm sorry, what? With the lady in my head. Yeah, this is uh, two weeks ago. Two, the present Jacob doesn't remember this. Okay. Um, I was going to. Let's see if I. I, I thought I sent, might have sent it to you. Let me double check. If I hit it, no, no. Nope, okay. Let's see. But, uh, it was about whether or not, um, something, like, whether or not something that I, uh, whether or not I could offer something, uh, was, was gonna be for the, for the deal between us. Were you talking to me? No. no. Okay. What, what was her, her name again? Because I have spacing. Um, I'm sorry, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh, Moran. Mar Fuck butchering it. Copy. Melandra based. Yes, thank you. Melandra? Yes. Mother of freedom, control, and all that is lost to find the balance. Uh, so, as soon as um, he closes the door, and I, and I warned him against making any deals for just money passage across the way, I'm going to say, now Melandra. So, you finally call. I was beginning to get bored. I'm just gonna look down at my arm again. Surprised. I thought you'd laugh at this. No response. Fair enough. So, I had one, a clarifying question, and two, wanted to see your thoughts on an offer. Well. All deals and offers have to go through the proper channels, because otherwise they can't properly be weighed. So I have to do the summoning thing in order to do to ask you. Because basically how it works is, everything that is offered against what I am offering is weighed by value. If you value gold a lot, it's worth getting money is worth more to you so you'd have to offer more to get more money it's bartering pretty much right so you have to offer something that's worth a lot or offer a lot of something that's worth little i mean i'll even give you a freebie I don't give a fuck about money. Oh, well, I wasn't planning to give you money. I was I wondering if cer certain people uh, that I killed would be on the table. Well, I guess that depends on who you're offering. I guess we'll see. 
exchange. And the clarifying question I have. What was the actual artifact that you the the, the for the the, the items uh, the, the artifact does what that you were offering alongside the, the metal? Because I don't believe you ever explained what it did, besides that it needs this metal in order to as a base component. It restricts. Well. Put it at its base value, it restricts a magic user ability to use magic. In the case of wizards, where they use their knowledge combined with the magic particles that are in the air to make magic, it restricts their ability to take in the magic in the air. I think I understand. One other question now that I'm just more curious. What if the thing that I offer is worth more than what you're offering? Would you balance the scales more to my favor or would you just would the deal just still go through? No. The deal will, it may not be perfectly balanced, but I will attempt to balance the scale as much as possible. Mostly due to the fact that if you are, well, you get to see the scale the same way I do. There is no cheating in this. It's impossible. I think you've answered my questions. Because if you aren't happy with the deal, you'll never come back for another one. Which is fair. I'm gonna stand up, leave my arm on the table, and go grab Rin. And bring him back to my room. Before that, Rin, as you go about your time, you know, probably going, you know, getting something to drink, eating some food, you would notice under your plate, there's a, l a note. I'll read it. Okay. All it I'll says it. is, meet me out back. And then it has just an R. Oh, crawling. Oh, the... the yeah, the I haven't forgot there. about him. I knew he was in down. Oh, uh... So, I'm assuming... Is Nichilo back down at this point, or no? Is this taking place while Nichilo's up there? Yeah, this, this would have taken place as soon Damn as he, he went up. I'll, uh, I'll tap Noon on the shoulder and be like, wait by the door in case something happens, but I'm meeting someone in the back. Okay. I'll I walk will... out to the back. I will do that. So as you open the door and you do and see, indeed see Roland out the back. He goes, God, do you know how fucking hard it was to find your ass in this entire goddamn city? Honestly, I was looking for you too for a while. So, I imagine difficult. Dear God, next time set a, I would say set a meeting spot, but let's be real. I, I want nothing to do with your bony friend. Like, at all. Like, at all. That's why he's not here. Good. So. I hear you're gonna be fighting tomorrow. I am. 
Oh, how badly you want to win? What are you offering? Well, I don't know. I'm just on the team you're fighting tomorrow, so I God, I don't know what I could accidentally <laughs> do uh, to mess with their chances of winning. <laughs> Darn. You really underestimate how easy it's to convince the troll. Like, you just gotta feed it a lot. Dear God, you gotta feed it a lot. Especially when it has three heads. Well, Roland, I'll be honest, there's a lot riding on our victory here. <laughs> I think Jacob watched all three of us, like, look, all looking away, and then all of a sudden, all <laughs> looking back towards him. So, <laughs> to say that winning is the top priority would be an accurate answer. What would you like in return? Aries? I, I would like to reaffirm that I like all of our current deals to stay active, so this will not go against anything that we have already agreed upon. I would like... It's probably best that you convince as many people to go all in and as possible to make as much money, because you... If you win, you're gonna win fucking big oil. Trust me. I would just like... a decent pile of the earnings. Now, why the fuck do I want a decent pile of the earnings? Well... Since, I don't know, I've been here for several days and I've had to find some work, some less ethical than others. I think you are now following where this is going. Yes. I know quite a bit more than I did when we last interacted. So. What is your goal? Let's start with that. Is your quest? Well, the turn Take plan no. is to win the tournament, and then we will be stepping down immediately to avoid any less than savory attention from Sad Pete. Okay, I, I didn't mean your goals for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of the what's your color question. My goal is to become king at some point, Roland. Okay. A little more long term than I was looking for, but fine. Great. Whatever. Become the <laughs> fucking king. I don't give a That's shit. What... I tried giving them the short term goal of win, step down, and then. Yeah, he, he's, he's looking for the, about half a year span, not 10 year span. <laughs> Open up a small company that revolves around recruiting people and training them so we could send teams of people on jobs. Great. So, put it this way, the more funding you can give me now, the more property I can buy in other people's names, which can generate revenue to buy more property, to buy a decent plot of land. You see where this is going? This sounds like a pyramid scheme. I was about to say. It does, it does sound like a <laughs> I see what this Too, is. God problem. damn it! Why isn't Gage here for this? He'd be perfect! He was actually part of a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Wait, his character or him? Him. Him! I see what you're doing. He sold, he sold uh, energy drinks in college. <laughs> I, I almost got involved in one my freshman year. So my sister was involved in something you won similar. a large portion of the winnings so you can buy property in the area so that we can get more funding to come in. Under different names so it doesn't look like you're the only one buying it. Correct, so then when the time comes I can just go, Here, I sold you a property for a dollar. <laughs> Fucking do what you want from there. I don't give a shit. That's just so much business. Now, and... what is your goal, bro? Uh, short term, medium term, or long term? All three. Yes. <laughs> Stay the fuck away from that skeleton. 
All right. Two. I don't know if I want to tell you that one. Three. Get the fuck out of this goddamn desert. What are you worried about the second one for out of curiosity? I really don't fucking like that skeleton. Is this going on in the tavern? I'm sorry. No, outside. Oh. I think uh, I like peeked my head like through a window. Almost like I've been summoned. And just retreat back slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I asked that your medium term goal, which I'm assuming I know what it is from that statement, is postponed for now indefinitely. He has uh, caught the attention of a rather wealthy benefactor, as a way of putting it. Oh great, he's got a sugar daddy now. Look at that. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna think in my mind real quick. Does this one seem interesting enough to you? <laughs> God, Roll is gonna be so fucking like, nope, never mind, I'm fucking done, fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this guy's name. Oh my god, I can't find my things. I'm losing my god. Damn, hun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Probably put it in the proper fucking chat. Please <laughs> call master. Okay. Pronunciation, Oh, Kenneth. Okay. What? Pronunciation. <laughs> oh, wasn't it was being summoned? Where is this? It's in the Pathfinder. Oh, Kenneth? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Kenneth? Oh, Kenneth, if you want to really be fuck. Kenneth! <laughs> oh, Kenneth! Oh, Kenneth! Oh, Kenneth! Oh, Kenneth could put this one to work. Oh! Oh! So. Roland. If you are willing to not uh, uh, close friend with the powerful benefactor. Can I make consider it? Put you in contact with someone of equal level. It depends on what they have to offer. What does, I'm gonna think, what does Okenoth cover? Uh, counter of wealth, debt, and all the world sins. Yeah, you could call him somewhat of a banker. Oh, so we're robbing him. I would not say robbing. Oh. Kind of disappointed. Actually, no, I'm not kind of. I'm really disappointed. Uh, well, when robbing these people would know it's friendly I feel like existing on the same continent as you people is going poorly for me already. As you put it could be, but in order for a deal to be struck between you and a benefactor we refer to as Mr. O. <laughs> the one that is mutual will have to be present. 
not miss the beam. Not the skeleton, but the benefactor. In fact, they can meet us right upstairs in my room. You know, I'm gonna do my assumption here and assume that I'm not joining a cult and go upstairs with you. Because it sounds like I'm joining a cult. You're using a lot of vague words. Josh is going to say this out of there, but a cult is just a religion not recognized by the government as a church. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey Jacob, check your uh, DMs real quick. Me. <laughs> We're not gonna get to the combat today. It's gonna be a, just a, it's gonna be the day of chaos. <laughs> Brain rolling up to my room. Um, and down comes Gats. Would yeah? Would uh, Nicolo and Rin uh, cross paths? <laughs> wait, wait up! I had to think first. Uh, I need you to roll me perception to see if you even saw them leave. Okay. Uh, 30. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick up a pin dice. So I'll put it before it. 21. Gotta find this thing real quick. I can replace the, mis the, the broken components with this metal if I am able to get a small amount of it. Oh, the super good stuff? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Alright, Mr. B, what do you do? Okay, Actually, I, I need everyone. What, what did you roll stealth, didn't you? Yep, I got rolled a 21. Alright, uh, everyone else gets to roll that is in the back alley. Gets to roll Does perception. One yeah, and, and, am I it? Counting, walking, pushing the door. Oh. Rin got a crit. Jacob. Um, I guess, Mr. B, what path do you choose to get outside? Um, I'd probably just kind of leisurely, um, nothing too crazy. So if they're going through the back alley and they're kind of in their conversation, I'd probably just kind of stroll up to them casually, you know, trying to... Uh, Roland like would not see you, but... Uh, Rin, uh, there is someone approaching you and you do not know who they are at this point in time. I'm going to whisper to Roland. Oh, you... Uh... Oh, yeah, bro. It's actually a pretty decent stealth. It's a... 22. No, 21. So... Someone's coming up behind us. Let's just watch in casually like old friends. Huh. Okay. He, he'll, he'll nod. I'll throw my arm around his shoulder and try to pull him into the room, into the uh, yeah, yeah, he'll he'll just go right along with you. I'm gonna cast time jump. I think for the fun. Um, so this spell, you leap forward a few seconds of time, appearing across the battlefield in a blink of an eye. You gain two actions, which you must use to leap, stand, step, or stride. So basically, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna cast this, and I'm gonna appear right in front of him. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Josh? Just for a funny. I thought I. 
Oh. Wow, okay. It's an old, hey, it's an old yes, fish. Why? I thought I'd say hi. Hold on, but don't you see how Roland respond? No, he's, respond he's responding exactly how you think he would respond. Oh. Oh, nice. He's responding <laughs> poorly. Mr. B, don't bat inside, please. Oh, why? No, no, nope, nope. hold, hold, hold all conversation. I have to see if I can't find something interesting here. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> You've traumatized this man enough. Oh, I'm gonna do something so funny. I wanna just play this up. This my last thing I'll do. Oh, God. If he's gonna stab me, well, uh, we can just say he did. Oh god, you, you wish. Oh, is he not gonna hit me? Oh, or is he gonna cast like a fucking mega spell? Just incinerate me. There's only one spell that can kill this creature. And he knows it! Oh, darn, there's not... I'm actually kind of disappointed. Well, what were you looking for, Jacob? A funny little spell? No. Mm. Perhaps. Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to make this a whole big thing. I apologize. Seeing a very familiar uh, skeleton, ma'am, um, he dropped a smoke bomb at his feet. Go on, please, don't, don't, Mr. B, don't bat inside. Oh. It's too late, oh. he's fucking gone. Oh, okay. Mr. B! Sorry, sorry. sorry. Why would you? So I'm sorry. I apologize. Full perception to try to find Roland. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, run back inside. Very quickly. It's only oh. a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Man, Mr. B sure causes a lot of chaos, doesn't he? Oh, that's funny. Stick up! God. Oh no! Conduit of chaos. Yes. Mr. B, 
He was on the opposing team. I was getting him to help us oh, for the next oh. fight. Well, that kind of seems like cheating. <laughs> and dusted out of character. And adding gods to the back <laughs> doesn't And count. your little deal with Mr. Z isn't? <laughs> what the what agreement talking with about? him isn't? I haven't made a deal with him. He's just a buddy of mine. He's helping us. And is oh. that not cheating in your book? Oh, he's a friend. And Roland is my friend. A oh. friend who's scared of you because you ate his friends in front of him. Oh, I did do that. So don't walk back inside. Oh. No. Oh, keep an eye on him. Oh. I'm I'm sorry. I'll go, I'll go back inside. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> give him I'm gonna give him this look as he walks past me. <laughs> He's so bad. He feels so bad. <laughs> just Mr. That. Z. <laughs> I'm just gonna think that it's not done. Can you send him back this way? <laughs> you contacting a god to get him to come back. <laughs> I'm offering him to your buddy. On, on Kenneth, on Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth. Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth. <laughs> Give him a notch back this direction if you could. Kenneth. That's not really how this thing works, mate. Benji. All right, Mister B. Noon. We're going all in on tomorrow's bets. All right. And I'm going to stop by the rain early, and hopefully we'll find him there. I'm already back inside. I will, I'm going back to the side after this. Oh, oh okay. But, but that's what you want to do. <laughs> Mr. B. So, uh, if we lose, you're reimbursing me, right? Hopefully the troll will be on our side. But, Mr. B. Yeah? I like you. Yeah. Jack, did like you see the troll? No, to sit there for a minute. <laughs> that, 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 that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Some people don't like you for what you are. He was oh. one of them. Oh. Also, approaching someone in a dark alley is a good way to get stabbed. <laughs> I didn't oh. know who you were when you were coming up behind us. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, and I hope no one dislikes me. <laughs> hmm. I guess I don't understand why he hates me so much. You know what, that's a great conversation for Nitalo to have with you. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna go upstairs and don't see if he's coming down yet. After a little time passes, you would see him. I'm going to put my <laughs> arm around Nitalo and turn him like like trying to get the dope bat around for a moment. Alright, it's the stench. Roland is on the opposing team. He's wanting to help us. Mr. B started the fuck out of him in the alley. You need to explain to Mr. B why some people don't like him. What? Where is he? He's down in the tavern, but noon watching him to make sure he doesn't do anything else. I think I'm playing my my uh, my uh, harp a little bit, just, just sitting on a chair. As gaps walks out of the room. Also, go all in on tomorrow. Oh, you're having a conversation with troll. yourself right now. Hopefully, the troll is on our side tomorrow. I'll talk to Roland if I can before the fight. Indeed. No. Have fun with that one. I think as you go up to Mr. B, he'd be having a little conversation with Zargon, I think. Like, I don't understand why they think I'm so, you know, why they're so scared of me, I guess. I, I, no, okay, I gotta. <laughs> don't worry, my child. Ah, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't I want to do this. I'm, I'm feeling really big Emperor Palpatine vibes, you guys. <laughs> you want me to kill the young one? Beta. 
I need to find the right words. They ah, yes. They bend the knee or they will die. Do not worry, my child. You are a perfect creature of the night. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Not a good thing, Mr. B! Did you say you that out loud? above them all soon. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, good flattered. thing that Niccolo can't hear that, because that's only Mr. B's head. <laughs> Mr. B. Yeah? Come, we're going for a walk. A walk? Yes. Oh, okay. I will go on a walk. <laughs> Alright. A little walk. Is it a long walk off a short beard? Just that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we finding up some rabbits today? <laughs> oh, but I, I don't have my weapon either. Oh, oh my fuck. god, if you were to kill me, that would be so insane. <laughs> <laughs> you will rise above the ball shortly. <laughs> oh man, Mr. Hart oh, has my sword. Go see, go see, go see. <laughs> There'd be a whole betrayal arc. Oh my god. <laughs> No, you see, at this fucking... point, your character would become a DMPC, and I would totally use you against the party. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh no, yeah, because Zargon would definitely bring him back. Oh, Anyways. Yeah. What time oh, of day is it? I missed you. Uh, it is uh, late evening at this it point. Is late evening. There's still people walking around. Very, very few. Mostly people who are getting off from their late shift. Um, you maybe see one person every yeah, 50 feet, but it's not like you're passing by him. You may just see him off in the distance. You see a person. One walks out from the alleyway and goes into his house. It's very... People are very much winding down. And most houses don't even have lights on. Um, and some of the candles, even in the street, are starting to burn out at this point. You want to tell me what happened with, uh, Roland? What are you talking about? Well, um, well, I went and said hi, and then he, uh, ran off. He dropped, a, a some kind of smoke device, and, um, Rin yelled at me, and then here. Do you know why he ran away? Well, uh, Rin said that people are scared of me. I just don't understand why. What is the biggest difference between you and me? Um... Physically. Physically? Hmm. I don't know why. Get, do you get my meaning? What are you doing? Flesh. Skin. Flesh. Oh, yeah, you are right. I do not Bodily functions. My body functions. Morals. <laughs> Most people have flesh and skin and tendons. They eat, they sleep, most of them. Mm -hmm. And people mm -hmm. don't like people who are different from them. Well, that's just not right. Fantasy racism 101. Correct. Like the kobolds. The kobolds, yeah. they are all rich. Mm hmm. I don't like that implication. <laughs> that feels very that feels very anti-Semitic. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. Just keep going. These cold balls, I tell you, but I can say some, I can say some risky stuff. But we won't. 
They are very rich. They have a lot of power. Oh, well, well, let's say it fucking don't say it, just. <laughs> Oh, um, well, the mind, I guess I'd, why does that matter? I, I mean, they have a lot of power, yes, I understand. Mm. My brain. Does that mean the lizard folks are the Germans? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Freeze. Don't. Freeze. I want to see what Irby uh, is going with this. Sorry. I had to get it out of my brain. <laughs> we live in what is called a society. <laughs> a society. Uh, yeah. You have to be aware that mm -hmm. people may not like you. It doesn't matter your personality, it. even though you did eat his friends in front of him. Well, I'm. Um, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. They tried it to hurt us. It is. You know? Mm -hmm. They were tasty, man. What do, what do you want me to say? He would have ate them too, right? <laughs> yeah, right? You have to be careful, Mr. B, with who you mm -hmm. are. It may not be fair, but you have to deal with it. Alright, I understand. I know I can't really show myself. I don't know, I thought, you know, when people... Because you guys accepted me, it seems like, a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. I will be careful, I have thought. Okay. Now let's go eat some people. Whoa, where did... I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> if you really if yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even have to do anything this is city magic <laughs> <laughs> well here let's just head back to the tavern I understand what you're talking <clears throat> we have a big day tomorrow yes when we see you Roland, mm -hmm. you must be very careful around him. Okay, why is that? What? Oh, because he, cause he hates me, that's right. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Do not spook him. Do not I'm just sneak up behind speaking. him and do not just say, Oh, hey guys! Hey guys, how you going? Do not do that with him. Well, I mean, that form of that form of combat, well, if it was implemented in a form of combat, it would work very well, so maybe I should do that tomorrow. Justin, I'm just wanting to commend you for sounding like Niccolo while also <laughs> imitating Mr. B. It was <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that will remind Niccolo I did tell him that he's going to help us tomorrow. Hopefully. You did you did say that, right? I did say. Hopefully the troll is on our side. Yes. <laughs> Roland was supposed mm -hmm. to be helping us. Mm-hmm. So Why is... Because he is because Rin befriended him a few weeks mm -hmm. back. Mm-hmm. So he mm -hmm. wants us to win. Why does that make sense? He's on the enemy team. Okay. So I don't attack him? Or because he's on our team? No, no. <laughs> you better call it good. I can keep going. <laughs> oh, God. It's like this one guest at work who didn't understand that the storm doors, the handles can go on either side. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, are you stupid? <laughs> I've had enough to worse in my day. 
just just remember to keep that in mind that he wants us to win he may be holding okay. back I will I'm I'm all right he's a and he's he a would greatly appreciate it I would assume mm -hmm. if you stayed mm -hmm. away from him <laughs> Let okay us deal with him okay Benji. sounds like a game plan good <laughs> <laughs> now, so what is your plan about this building? Oh, okay, <laughs> we walk back. <laughs> um, well, um, I like maybe we're walking back. Like, uh, well, I'm I'm gonna tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can get someone to put things together, and then all I have to do next is, um, get get some uh, the supply line going with uh, the alchemist, and then I gotta go talk to the bank about setting up an account. That's about it. That was God. Oh. <laughs> oh. Benji, stop. Are you Get whispering down. to God? God. Hey. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> It'd be real cash money if you could actually just give us 100 gold for free. Burn. <laughs> Hey right, Josh. Okay, yeah, I think this conversation's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Back to the tab. Not, then I believe it is your you two are up. Yeah, I, I uh, after you're finished with him, you will start to walk away. I'd say, Rip. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Yep. <laughs> I will give Dads the same little rundown of the Roland situation as what we do in the room. Great, so we're gonna have to fight him without it being on our side. He might still be on our side. I'm mm, gonna no. meet him up before. Good luck. So. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm considering making a deal. All right. So, you want to help me set this up tonight? That I can do. I'll grab the book. Does it say the blood has to be on the floor? Can I put something down so we can just roll it up and keep it like a portable? <laughs> <laughs> a portable. It does not state it has to be on the floor. How big does it have to be? It is quite large. It probably takes up a good portion of this room. I don't think we have a rug that big. Was there enough floor left in the building that uh, Mr. B bought? No! He took out the supports! What if Dad pushed the wall over? Would it stand up in a good point? <laughs> Let's do it right out in the open, yeah. No, I know. That's not the best one. Alright. There's no press the dissertation, right? What what is Jacob Jacob, what are you Sorry, the the amount of stupidity in all those statements just over. I wasn't going to actually <laughs> make it on the wall. Uh, make it on the crazy. wall, push it over. <laughs> it's gonna require blood and cleaning blood off the floor may be annoying. The do not disturb signs we to put up so cleaning people don't come in. <laughs> yes. It'll be real weird for a man who doesn't have blood to have blood on his floor. <laughs> Alright. Dear God, he murdered another man and wrote satanic symbols on the ground. That's, uh... Didn't want to put up the do not disturb sign. Oh, uh, you know, I can, since you only have one arm. <laughs> and you wanted a tortism, right, Jacob? Yes. 
That is a 15. This takes you a fucking long time. I'm not surprised. I haven't actually done this before. I like how Rin didn't ask any fucking questions. He was like, yeah, sure, let's fucking go. Like, I was gonna do one person today, might as well get you done. Fuck it. I feel like that's for what's about to happen. I feel like this is pretty good. Good. So. Josh, as you are reading through and setting up the preparations, since um, Gats is the one making a d the deal. You set him in the, you know, proper position. Uh, you kind of stand off to the side because you're, you're the one with the book and the rituals and yada, yada, yada. You go through and you say the words. And then kind of, if we, you know, kind of look at it, obviously it's a circle. Gats is on one side and then on basically to the right mm -hmm. middle of the circle if that makes sense off to the right hand side of the circle from Gat's position for a second you'll see this basically this black spot appear and then from that spot you you will see a hand with long claws appear from it and another Coming. as it basically pulls itself out of this hole in, in space and in one of its hands it has a scale and in the other uh, hmm, hmm, what should I have You know those curse stalls where like if you make it look like a person and if you poke it, it'll hurt that person? You know what I'm talking the about? I can't doll. remember what it is. Voodoo doll. Voodoo doll. Yes, it has one of those in its other hand. What does a voodoo doll look like? Right now, it just doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a plain, like a round kind of doll. It looks, and it's in the shape of a person, but it, it has no distinguishing features yet. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Who stares up in Sargon? Gats and Co. So, Gats, you wish to strike a deal? Yeah, with the uh, lady known as. Malandra. Hmm? Malandra. Malandra. You will hear the sound of what's. E ah, no. Hmm. Scared now.
see Zargon basically kind of pins some chains to the doll. Then he takes the doll and puts it into the black spot he spawned out of. And out he drags Melandra, a definitely more skinny figure compared to his own, but the rattling of chains cannot be deafened. I want to ask how close do I have to be to this circle and then I have light my back to the door to make sure no one's gonna come in and intrude No, yep, you could do that. So long basically so long as you don't leave this room you will be fine well, Close the book back to the door and just watching this all go down <laughs> Quite the uh, weight you carry. You're one to talk. Yeah. <laughs> who goes first in this exchange? You're the one who wants to make a deal? I do. So you state what you want and what you're willing to offer, and then we go from there. From the deal that you offered initially, the secret of the... What was the metal called again? Uh, I believe it was... Uh, sky Metal, but let me... Oh wow, well, I cannot fucking read this for the damn because of how this is colorized. All right, give me a second. Pull it over here, please. No. This is not being fucking helpful.
Oh, shit, dang. <clears throat> I have a feeling I misread something, but we may just roll with my fuck up. That's what it is, I think. Uh. That's what it was. His sovereign steel was the. Um... Yeah, because I didn't think it was Skyrim at all, but I couldn't remember what it was. So then G. And then, did you ever name the artifact that would uh, conceal his magic? No. I don't, I don't believe you did. So the uh, the deal for the method of producing. Sovereign steel and the artifact that requires it and, and its components. <coughs> so, so this this is you would see. Um, really, really, I got so many fucking tabs open right now. <laughs> Zargon scale and your side it yeah, basically it could it could not it's trying to go straight up it really is but that's now how not how physics works yeah even though you're not really sure physics applies in this room right now <laughs> And what I offer to you, for the one who deals with the in-betweens of freedom and order, or, or control. Uh, 
every mage that I slay in my path forward are yours. And at a particular list, one family will be decimated and destroyed in your name. And I will relay the family name, the one that uh, tortured me and made the sword guardian. Alright, uh, so do me a favor while I think. Uh, make up a fucking name for this family, Jesus Christ. Okay. What's their? What are they mainly race-wise? Uh, they'd probably be mostly gnomes, honestly. You got fucked over by some gnomes. And they're magic. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm not actually mad at you, right? Me? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, so. No, I thought that was good. That was good. <laughs> Haven't played with you enough to know that you are separating character and people. No, it's cool. I mean, like, that's what your character would do. I mean, well, I didn't expect any less. The gnome name generator is all bullshit names. Little, little thumble Bimble, foot. bimble? Thimble, bimble, fumble, fuck. Said Legigil. Gobble oh Gobble it. Gobble it. <laughs> Gobble it. Rass rest. <laughs> Bowl noser. Bowel. Pop Lurabon. Pop Lurabon. Waggle shield. Waggle nuts. Waggle <laughs> nuts. Good... <laughs> Ooh, I, here. That's a good one. Shadow hand. Speaking of waggle nuts, I saw what? a thing. What? <laughs> Where apparently in um the new Zelda game, what the f here's Tears the thing. Of the um apparently Link's nuts have jiggle physics. No, they don't. It was just Nothing. a shadow glitch. Was yeah. it? Yeah. yeah it was. This ain't red dead. <laughs> but uh, how, how does that sound? Shadow hand. That's fine. I figured you can you can get a lot from that. Better than Zoo Glider Romp. Do that or Starkfield. I've already wrote down Shadow Hand. How about uh, Zoom Pod Ulseg? <laughs> With Deep Shadow. No one didn't hear this happening. Bevel Wibble? Right. Double dingles. <laughs> Tungy Houston. Oh, oh. Uh, before I forget, um, Sovereign Steel is uh, alloy, alloy of cold iron and Naqual. I'm probably butchering this, but cold iron and. Nightclip. <laughs> that tab that I just deleted. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Story of my fucking life. I don't think you understand. I don't deal in souls. I deal in freedom and control. One soul is the same to me as another. Doesn't matter how many you reap, they're not gonna come to me. You can't offer me what you can't even contain. Is 
Jesus Paws and Dad the Death Austin? Mm, I know. I was asking if it was. Oh, yeah. I, I, right now, I'm kind of thinking. Am I allowed to enter death in the ritual or no? Uh, like, you can well, try. Like, am I allowed to talk? Will dads be able to hand me? You, you can try. It doesn't say. It doesn't say? But I can hear them? Yes. As opposed to killing them, what if you restricted the freedom, dads? Do I hear that? Yes, you'd be able to hear it. Well, that was initially, uh, eventually going to be the goal. Was using... NG. The artifacts, as well as the metal, to produce an, a group of people who would be able to subjugate wayward mages. How does that addendum No, oh, that's fine. However, <clears throat> that is your specific goal that you're going after. It does not mean it benefits me any, and it may even go against what I want. Especially when the mages will eventually fight back against such and such an order. Eventually they will. Whether they succeed or not will be interesting. And these order, this order of, of uh, knights. Perhaps they could be use of use of you to you as well in the future. To control what or to bring freedom to the to others. Hmm. You, you would see the scale tip in your favor and this is something you would start to piece together you cannot lie no matter how much you because it all is all based on how you feel mm -hmm. in your heart your soul and in your mind so it's a it because it's a battle of will wits and your tongue Interesting. It is a very interesting proposition. However, I am propping all of this up for a hopeful long-term gain that I may never see to happen. And you said the scale is currently in my favor? No, 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 Oh, no, no. I, I thought you said that it tipped to it's my favor. It's tipping in your favor. Okay. okay. Well, after all, without resources, I wouldn't be able to make neither. Okay. Aww. Aww. I would not be able to make neither the metal nor the artifacts until I am w w more well established. Damn. Oh. Sorry. Cat. Pulling stuff out of the cat's fur. 
Nope. Yeah, You're annoying the other cat, so you get to stay here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, look, you had something to say? Yes. Uh, I failed to mention this earlier, but Roland is going to be buying a large sum of property in different names to sell to us at a discounted rate in the city that we can use as a base of operations later on. It's where the majority of my winnings are going. And yes, you would be able to hear this. Um, in the meantime, until the, such an order has been established, I am willing to partake in one act of freedom and one act of control. That you see fit. For your down payment, so to speak. I have cat hair all over the fucking place now. I know that feeling. I will agree to all of those, but I wish to add one turn. Here. You cannot share the locations of the ores until you are ready to buy the plots. So basically, she's not going to uh, get the. Uh, so basically, her. you will still get the information, you'll know where okay. it is, but you won't be able to share the locations with anyone else. But if I go there and pick up a cup, like a couple of chunks to use for my own personal use, that's perfectly yeah, fine. That would be perfectly fine. And good luck <laughs> getting a couple of chunks is what I mean. This way, if for some reason you were to die in the desert on accident by a giant worm, a dragon, or God forbid, some goddamn bandit. I still have the knowledge safely kept. And worst case scenario, nothing really is lost. So that also means that I'm not allowed to share the process of making it with anyone either. I would, uh, I will open that up to you to allow you to do that, only because those are not the only two things need to make it. Those are the key components. 
However, for your sake, I would limit the amount of people you give access to it. We wouldn't want people to find a way around it so quickly, now would we? And you, you would see a very toothy grin. I get, you know, I'm gonna, um, they can't lie, so there's not really a reason to insight anything. I would accept those conditions. She will put out her arm as the scale balances it's it is definitely a little more in your favor because the item she's giving i mean it's you get a mine up in both of these things and you could just decide to retire mm -hmm. it, it is definitely still very much so in your favor by by your knowledge a pretty significant amount but it looks like she is deciding to gamble. Fair enough. Um, which arm did she put out? She she would put out the arm so you could shake back. Okay, because I'm pretty positive it's my right arm that's gone, so I was like, oh, there's my left hand. So as you put out the arm, the chains that wrap around her body... God damn it, Kratos. It will start to wrap around your arm. Kinky. Don't fuck the Lord. <laughs> deals off. Deals off. <laughs> <laughs> What's the safe word? What's the safe word? <laughs> and then from Sargon, you would hear by the power bested in me, Zargon. The overseer of oaths, curses, and all that goes bump in the night. And the twelve lords that oversee the chaos of the world. A deal has been struck this day. As your arm is now branded with chains, like markings all the way up to basically your shoulder as it is crawled pretty far up and as you would move and adjust you are pretty positive from what you see they go all the way through so if I get like a new arm will those still just be there because it's kind of a mental thing or I guess you'll find out <laughs> And first, well, if you think of anything else you want to make a deal with. I don't, and I come up, come up with anything no. else. Like M a Melandra will recede into the void that she came from, and Zargon will slowly seep back in, smiling. Well done. Thanks. Is, is he gone yet? And he disappears. You know, I didn't think you'd be the first one to go through with it. I'll be honest, blacksmith shit. Fair enough. What? Told me how to make legendary metal. Of course I'm gonna go for that shit. Understandable. <laughs> I'm assuming this I'll, conversation I'll, I'll never happened. There's the carrot. There's the carrot. Uh, I'm assuming this conversation <laughs> never happened. What conversation? That's what I thought. The Kool-Aid. Where's the Kool-Aid? Kool-Aid is officially drunk. 
By the way, I'm hoping to have to roll drink. in the morning. What's up? I'm hoping to have to roll in in the morning. Give it a fine yeah, well, IV. Good luck with that. I'm gonna hope to have my arm fixed by then. Uh, in the fight, then you do your best to drive Mr. B away from rolling. You gotta look at him go. Yeah, good luck with that. Fair enough. You might want to put a rod over that. I'll leave Do Not Disturb up. <laughs> I'll go to my room. I'm gonna kick a rug over it and start just like scrubbing the floor with my foot. With the rug. <laughs> That's adorable. I know. <sighs> Would it be an inconvenience to carry a rod big enough to hold the said wall? <laughs> It would be a pain. I have a bag of holding. Will it, will it roll big enough to go into the mouth? I can't wait to like just shove it in my shadow. Slide <laughs> along fucking tube. Like a <laughs> Mary Poppins bag, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna pop it in there and pull it out when you <sighs> need it. And then they're like, what do you mean you already have this pre-made? Like, being prepared, what do you mean? I got a bit off paint to Zardon. Nice to have a face to the name now. You would hear no response. That's it. Time for sleep. Alright. Ooh, we finally made it through the night. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> Just let noon then try to find me while I was working on this. Mm -hmm. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. So who are we started with in the morning? So we have one person going and buying property, apparently. <laughs> Not buying property. Um... Contacting like builders to Oh yeah, he's, he's going and getting builders. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of people who are balancing out the checkbooks for the races. I need All to go right. to blacksmith. The last one who's fixing his arm. Alright, who's going to blacksmith shop? I just actually while well, you're all walking down the fucking Stairs. Oh yeah, because they get to see my my other arm now. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. And Mr. Hart's probably gonna recognize it. M M Mr. Hart, you you'll see him eating, and he'll just fucking like set down his bowl hole of whatever he's eating, probably porridge, and be like, "You fucking didn't." Nope. I'll roll it. <laughs> Oyo, you could roll a nat 20 and you still could not beat this man. I know. You know, humor me. What did you roll? 14. <laughs> 14. This Cut. is plus half. Because I'm assuming he has lied to me. This is supposed to be his deception. Right. Truck. Justin was making love to that fucking tea. Oh, yeah. Oh. His eyes closed and everything. <sighs> um, Jarrett gave me a thing of meat that we can cook. Ah, oh, some dude the gave you some meat, huh? Where did that come from? Uh, I don't know. Uh, How did making love with tea eat or dude meat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, I didn't want to forget. There's some meat in the <laughs> in the fridge that can be cooked. Yeah. Was it, uh, actually, what, diplo diplomacy, gather information, would that work, technically? Uh, if he has lie to me, he'd use deception. He doesn't have lie to me. Then it's perception. That's just perception? 
like he's gathering imp- information as like going on the street like hey tell me about this oh his perception's only a 23 unless he gets a natural one which would lower it to a critical success <gasps> oh I think no, that's a normal success. It's a normal success. Because that's a 24 to your 14. (laughs) I just, I, that is so fucking funny. If that actually, if that it just didn't, if he didn't pick up on it because of that. If you you had had to roll a natural one, click. (laughs) If you had rolled a nat 20 and he rolled a nat one, you would have won. Oh, that's too funny. He just looks at you. And then he looks to Ren. What have you guys done? I'm gonna go get my arm fixed. God fucking damn it. Don't listen to the old man. He doesn't know anything. After they leave. Instead of on my way out to the car, they'll be like, Eh? He made it? Not me? My hands are clean. Are they? This is the man who actively helped me make the deal. Son, you can lie to me all you want, but don't lie to yourself. I, I did help him make the deal. I did off some input. But I have not engaged in any deal making myself. Just remember, you think you won, you've already lost. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. That way you may actually live long enough to regret it. I'm gonna be looking for a die by the fight pits. Met me out bad yesterday, startled by a friend. Yeah. I was wondering what that was about when the recognizable sound of a smoke bomb going off and a man running across the street. You don't happen to know where he is, do you? No, I didn't go hunt him down. I'll just see if he's by the fight pits. Alright. Alright. Who is going to the blacksmith shop? We'll start there. Alright, blacksmith boys. You go to the blacksmith shop. What do you do? I set my arm down on the counter. What, you break one and you tattoo the other? Let's just say a, a, an unfortunate incident with a shithole of a house. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Alright, let's get to fucking work. Alright. So, just, just crafting? You. Yep. Do I get a circumstance bonus with him helping me? Okay, he's just rolling himself too. Fuck. I'm not much better at a 19. It takes you guys basically the entire morning, but you get it done. Irby, what would you like? Uh, I need a magic sword. (laughs) Okay, what's wrong with the one you have? Uh, the other one is getting plus one. Um, I need a replacement. I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, got extra work for no real reason. Um, do you have all of the approximate costs for the weapon you're looking for? Fuck. No, I don't. Of course We're not. coming back to you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't. Dustin, I'm assuming Noon is going with Ren. Yes. Rin, where are you going? I'm 
Go back. into the five pits. Alright, uh, you, you can both roll me a perception check. Oh, 20. 27. Natural 20. Hi. Alright. Whoa, bitch. Uh, Don't fall. Noon. You would be able to find um, Roland in the crowd. Ooh. I'll point him out. I will approach him. He he he's as you approach him, he he'll notice you and be like, "Oh god, fucking damn it! You try and kill me via heart attack. Now what do you want to do?" Oh, I apologize for last night's interruption. He was not supposed to come out. And as I said, oh, well, what were you gonna say, Jacob? Sorry. Was he was he ever supposed to come up? To us? No, I didn't even know who was coming I up. I mean, I meant from the ground, but whatever. Oh. Both your boat. I just need to know we're still on for the day, right? I don't want to charge you fucking triple, but yes. Alright. And if you stop by the end of day, I can ensure my associate here, Noon, will remove your problem person from the premises for a period of time for a conversation. I forgot, I was gonna hope you were gonna say remove him permanently, but fuck me, I guess. <laughs> that would cause some unforeseen reactions from some very powerful folk. Benefactors. His ascent you know, nature has caught the eye of a couple people. Just so we're on the same page, once we get this up and running, I am requesting a very hefty fucking raise. Assuming I don't immediately decide to burn it all to the how do you feel about mining? Not you in particular, but running an operation. Really? Do you... Do you think... I look like I know how to run a mine? Do you know I, I can handle people, people and I can handle say, shady shit. Would you be able to find someone who does know how to when looking for the plots of land? Mate, there isn't a mine in town. Your best bet is to go hit up a couple mines on your own on travels and try and recruit someone from one of them. Thank you, Roland. As always, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, sure. Let's call it that. I'll extend my hand to him. He will look at it. He will then spit in his hand and extend it. I will shake his hand after spitting in mine. <laughs> God, yeah. have, excuse me, I have a hefty wager to put on my fight. You're welcome. As always. Oh, Jacob, how much does it cost to fix my arm? Material wise. I'll get back to that once we get back to. <laughs> and I would, on my way out, swing by and drop all my money on the bed. Mr. B. Yes. What are you going to do to me? Um, well, first off, I would like to ask around and see if I can find a, a decent place where I can get some builders. Uh, um, even or odd? Odd. Uh, Wicked. It doesn't take you very long. Um, someone would direct you to um a carpenter shop. 
Okay. Um, I'd probably... Do they have, like, a desk or something? Like, like a front secretary desk? Uh, no. It's a workshop. Oh. Um, I'd probably grab the attention of... Oh, you know what? I could do something fun. Um, I am going to play on my heart to get the attention of hopefully everyone in the room. So, uh, as you do this, several people mm -hmm. will look up, and then go, there will be some murmuring, and 90% of them will just go back to what they're fucking doing. Okay. That's fine. Uh, what about the other 10%? Are there any, um, any, anyone coming up to me? Uh, one approaches you and goes, you wanna stop wasting our fucking time, or are you gonna tell me what you want? Oh, sorry, I, I just wanted to get your attention. Hello, uh, my you name is... You could have just Mr. said something. Uh, I, I know, but, you, you know, I just thought in business, you know, you always want to make a good entrance, and, you know, your men seem to be working By using your words. Uh, I, I guess. I, you're, I you're, not, you're, you're, you're not trying to sell us something. You come here because you want something done. We get shit is, done. That's our job. Oh, that's good to hear. And then I have the perfect uh, um, job for you guys. Um, so, uh, I guess the situation is I'm going to be setting up new business, um, but I need a place to do said business, and I was wondering if you guys could help me out with that. You got a plot of land? I do, and I also have some materials that um, hopefully you gentlemen will be able to use. Do you or, have materials oh. or scrap wood you're going to pass off as materials? A scrap wood that I would pass off as materials. <laughs> don't waste my time with that. Uh, okay. If it's scrap wood you're going to try and pass off materials, it ain't going to hold up to anything. Okay. Um, it'll be the first thing to crumble. Okay. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, uh, the building collapses. Worst case scenario, it kills everyone in the building. That is, that is fair. I okay. put my name on that, we're going to use materials from one of my suppliers. Okay. Or That's... at least someone that is reputable. I don't care if you want to go shop around. I don't give a damn. Okay. However, That's that's perfectly fine. I can't risk my business because you wanted to use shoddy shit. That is... That is fair. And I, I was just hoping that maybe it would help you. I'm... You know, I'm, I guess I'm not much of a, uh, a builder myself. Even though I have tried in the past, I don't believe I have the skill set. So, so uh, would you be interested in helping me out then? If we're using your materials? Yeah, we can build you something. How big of a building are you looking for? How many floors are you looking for? Do I have to account for a basement? Do I have to... How many windows do you want? Um, well, there is already a basement there um i mean if you can use it you're welcome to um but i was just thinking um kind of just a smaller room with a window um i guess kind of like out of character what i'd want to do is if you've ever have you ever seen like those little coffee shops that they have in some towns i don't but they don't have a lot of them around here but it's just like you're talking like a scooters, the the one they they just put up down by the corner of fourteen and sixty one, and Pelzer down there. Um, I guess I haven't seen that. It, You're it's just for a mom pop coffee shop. Oh no no like, no! Like like a drive like a drive a drive up. You yep. drive up, order, and they hand you out the window. They don't have an interior for you to sit down like Starbucks. It's literally. You drive up, you order your shit, you go to the window, you pay, you get your coffee, and you drive away. Yeah, and just, like, enough room on the inside to work or do whatever you want. It's just basically a stall. Basically, right. he, he wants, he wants like, 1,500 square feet. Yeah. Oh, Nothing too big. Nothing too ever <laughs> what I can afford. But, yeah, that's what I'd tell this, this person. Huh. 
And it, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, you know, just to get the job done. I'm, uh, yeah. And hopefully a sign would be nice as well. I don't know if you guys deal with that, but that would be also very helpful. Huh. I don't know if I'm going to have money to do this. I'm really curious. Mr. B's Cobold Aid. Cobold sounds, Aid. Like, sounds like Mr. Miracle's Snake Oil. <laughs> It's baby oil, but where, where are they keeping the babies? <laughs> Paper powder? <laughs> no wonder it tastes so weird. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> Has anyone ever put baby powder and baby oil in a pan thrown it in the oven? No. Do you get, do you get a child? <laughs> I did. I never thought of that. It's like a kick. <laughs> I am back, by the way. So hopefully, it'll just be like, here's a table of what it cost. To... Uh... <clears throat> Let's see. I can look it up. Building Buildings, Pathfinder, Reddit. Is there actually a table for building things? I'm just on Reddit. Um, this edition had a whole table for running a town. And how much that cost and all that. That sounds like something Josh would need. Both of you. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is building points. Hi, Benji. Oh, this doesn't make sense. This is like if you're actually like building like a town. That's interesting. They actually have like a system of like building a town and stuff in Pathfinder. Really? Oh, yeah. Like um, when you build in a lot of one of your like you have your own settlements, you build structures using build structure activity during the civics activity step of an activity phase of a kingdom. Oh, wait. What? Of a kingdom turn when you build a lot of one of your settlements, you're likely to construct a simple building. What the hell? That this is like a whole like first edition. It could be. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Um, well, let's look up how much does lumber cost. Um, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Finder two e. How much do materials cost? Um, one of her crafting and Noble's off at high quality. No. Hmm. Fuck Josh, what do you have to hit me with the heart shit? I didn't mean to, we could just say like... Well, which is a typical sword in Pathfinder. Hmm. Yeah, it's a typical sword. Like five gold, ten gold, maybe? Character, equipment, weapons, uh, uh, 
just want to fucking. Oh my god, I'm gonna talk. God damn. A that. scimitar costs one gold piece. So a scimitar costs one gold piece. All right. Mm -hmm. So to get a, a decent scimitar in real life currency, I think two hundred is a fair estimate for monetary value. And for a relatively small building like what you're looking to build with few intricacies, I think two hundred thousand is a fair amount to estimate for materials and labor. Therefore, 200,000 divided by 200 is 1,000, right? My math is good. I guess you're right, yeah. 1,000 gold so pieces. 1,000 gold. That's expensive. Hmm. Yeah, it's always building a house. That's true, but I just I was thinking of just building like a small shack, you know? I wasn't thinking like anything too expensive, like... You, so I look. The reason I say two hundred thousand for what you're trying to do is a fair estimate. Mm -hmm. Is because I looked at like buying a plot of land, getting a basement dug, which granted you wouldn't have to do in this scenario, mm -hmm. um, and then having like the electricity run and getting modular home set up on it. Yeah, and it was over three hundred and forty thousand dollars. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hmm. I guess it's up to up to you, Jacob. How much you would think it would cost? Uh, unless you can convince me otherwise, I think we'll go with the thousand. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. I bought the property for 120 gold. You're a ramshackle piece of shit. That is true. That is true. You could buy better materials with 120 gold than you could get from that broken piece of. Crap. That's true. Yeah. I mean... He was trying to get rid of it. <laughs> and you were gullible. Yeah. Black King... Yeah, I mean, some of these magic weapons are like 3,000 gold. Blasted Reformer is like 45. I mean, I'd say 1,000 gold is probably fair. I don't know. I guess I didn't want anything crazy. Just basically a wooden shack. You know. Um, but yeah, that's all. I, I got 200 gold, so whatever that would do me, if I can't do anything, then, or 200 gold. I, I mean, hell, I sell, I, I walk in, walk in through cab apps and I sell $1,000 appliances some days. That's true. Oh, we, we can do that. We, I, yeah. That's fine. Thousand gold, yeah. I guess a thousand gold pieces, especially in Pathfinder, where gold is so abundant, isn't really that much. So yeah, that's fine. I'd probably be like, oh, um, I don't think I'd be able to afford something like that. I'm sorry for wasting your guys' time. Oh well, come back if you want it done. Okay, I will. I just go back to work. Yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> That's okay, though. We'll try again another day. Alright. Uh, Irby. So, a normal long sword costs one gold piece, but if I want a striking rune on it, it costs 65 gold pieces. I'll give it to you for 50. Perfect. Uh, thank you for your business. Alright, Austin. Yeah. 15 gold. 15 gold. Honestly, you're m more paying for his time than you are for the materials. The Warforge has befriended the person who can fix him. When I can fix him, fix me too. It's just that I needed it done quickly. Yeah.
Does anyone else need to do anything for the morning portion? Alright, does anyone have anything they wish to do for the afternoon portion? Uh, I'll do some more. Just fill, I'm trying to find everyone and fill them in a bit on what's going on with Roma. But it okay. is still happening. Okay. Um, I don't, does everyone already know? I was probably gonna go to the arena and watch the afternoon fight. Which I should think. be the fight that we'll, uh, we'll be fighting next time, tomorrow. Because this is a semi-final. It is. Alright, so, who's going to the arena? I'm gonna go to the center of town. Center of this main entertainment district. Oh dear god, we'll get back to, we'll get we'll get back to that, I think. Uh, I guess Irby, because I saw you raise your hand. You go into the fight pits, you sit down. And there's this one team. And, you know, they're a bunch of different creatures, you know, they all look pretty strong, and then this one dude, this absolute muscle man, who has decided to take a nap on the other side of the arena. And you can see, like, a couple of the refs trying to wake up, and you see them get together trying to discuss what to do, and they're like, okay, okay. you just kind of see them all shrug their shoulders and say, fuck it, and the fight starts. <clears throat> and the, these, this team goes over to try and kick the shit out of this dude. And they're at it for a while. They, eventually, they all just, some of them, like, fall over. They're exhausted. Like, everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? And then... The man just kind of stands up, and he <laughs> he stretches, and he just grabs the helmet of the nearest man, and red mist kind of just comes out. <laughs> As he grabs the... The, the giant hammer Austin may help make with his other hand slams into one guy like right in his rib cage keeps going and hits that motherfucker with another motherfucker You see one guy try to run away. He doesn't get far. <laughs> There's a hammer through him now. And the other man that fell down. There's a fit. There's a foot where his chest cavity used to be. Boy. Ah. <laughs> To be always doing non lethal. <laughs> oh my god. Nicolo. <laughs> uh. Roll me a perception, please. No, oh, no. Okay. looking at you. No, <laughs> I don't know what he's looking at. That's a nine. You don't know, notice anything odd. Okay. As he walks off with his hammer still chuck stuck in this man's chest. Oh. Just dragging him along. He does not give a singular fuck. 
I don't know if he's going to abide by the rules of the tournament, gang. I think he may just kill us, gang. Gang, gang, gang. And... Uh, what's going to stop him? Exactly! Like, what, the guards? <laughs> like, <laughs> I couldn't wake him up? <laughs> yup. The guys that tried to kick the shit out of him for probably a solid 20 minutes and got nowhere. How are we supposed to beat him? Unless it's just there for the entertainment, you're not there to win. <laughs> So the control will be uh, just, uh... <laughs> not him. <laughs> oh. Hi. I guess uh, to the uh, betting pool. I guess. You can put your bed in chat. Uh, Austin, what do you do? Work. Work. I need oh, a little yeah. bit more money. Crafting check. That is another 19. It's been 19. a lot of low rolls today. Good thing we may not actually do combat today. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's no way we're doing combat today because we wouldn't get it done. Yeah. Are uh, you sure about that? One way or another, it'll be quick. <laughs> Susa, can you help us? <laughs> uh, you will get 20 gold for the morning, Austin. 20 gold, we're, perfect. We're not, oh, we're not fighting the big guy, are we? <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's tomorrow. If we oh. win today. Shut. Alright. Dustin, you're with Josh, I assume. Yep. I know one Josh. thing, it'll be a... Me or the other one? You. Oh. I was just gonna go through and tell everyone the plan with Roland, but I realized that you're probably wait till we're loading into the elevator or the, uh, into the arena. The yep. elevator. So, hmm. Good. I'll just prepare for the fight, eat a lunch, you know. And hope the troll is actually on our side. <laughs> in this trust. No, he never said he was on your side. He said the, he said he would help us win. Yes, he never said how. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. To be rough. I realize. We'll see how it does. I'm excited. Uh, Mr. B. I am going to find the highest point I can get kind of this main bustling district and I am going to perform because that's what Barts do. Uh, oh, no. And I really don't know what to do now. Oh no. Oh no. I am going to also cast for this. I'm going to step up behind like a barrel or something or as high as I can get. I'm going to cast musical accompaniment. Accompaniment. Um, and that surrounds me with orchestral music. Um, that should be for an hour. And then I'm going to cast dancing lights to kind of almost spin around me, kind of work their way up. And then I'm going to play my harp. Something intense, something interesting. Okay, roll me a performance, please. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new car. Uh. <laughs> 28. Okay. So. You've climbed up to this nice big tower, and people are watching, people are clapping. But, um. No one's really leaving you any money because you're 20 feet in the fucking air. Well, I wasn't trying to get, like, that high up, but if, you he know, the, the highest 
point. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. If you, yep. That sucks. You did not specify. That's okay. That's... I just point. <laughs> just throw down a a, a small bag. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know. It flutters away. That's the whole point. I was just just trying to get some money. I wasn't trying to be like, yeah. But it's cool. It's fine with me. I'm just trying to sit, play my heart out. I'm so sad. I mean, fuck. Like my house alone is probably twenty feet. You went to the entertainment district. That's true. That Be happy true. it's only 20 feet. That's fair. That is, is true. Is he playing on top of a brothel? <laughs> he is we're, now. We're just playing my heart out. I feel so sad. Yeah, he didn't get a bitch. No bitch. <laughs> no bitches. <laughs> oh, he's all bone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you fuckers my friend? Oh my friend. <laughs> Why do I hate myself? <laughs> so of the little gold that I got, what what did I get? Or does anyone say anything interesting to win? Let me roll this. And let me see how many much the horse find. The horse? They eat it? Whores. <laughs> oh, I you see. Because you're on a whore house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. B and his brothel adventures. You are able to find a measly four gold. Let's go. Four gold, baby. Where we haven't made the offset, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, uh, that's it. That's all I did. Anyone else need to do something during the afternoon? I'll go place oh. my bet on my way back on my way over from the, the whatever. Okay. Place your bets. Place your bets. Oh, now, I'd probably ask Zargon actually, since we're here. I'd be like, I kind of be kind of like to press moves, just like. Why does this have to be so hard? You know, I just everything that I try just seems to not work out. You know, can I like this depressed, somber mood? Huh. The road to greatness <laughs> is paved with difficulties, troubles, and strife, but you will get there. It'll just all, take time. All this reminds me of is the is fucking Griffith by piling the bodies up to his castle. <laughs> that when he ascended. Uh huh. But oh, we haven't killed anyone for ascension yet. Are you kidding me, <laughs> Roland's entire friends? Every person we've interacted with. Roland's fine. The necro nerds. <laughs> the necro nerds. We killed two of them. We may have a small yeah. pile, but it is a pile nonetheless. And I hope to only watch it grow. <laughs> the necro nerds. I forgot. Are we going to fight that. today, Jacob? Probably not, but I will introduce the fight at the very least, I think. Ooh. Yay! As we're coming out, so I'm we gonna So we can say, shit ourselves, okay. Yes. Uh, Mr. B, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> we have two weeks. Yeah. Like, like Nolan, please. We will handle him. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Let's go, let's go. That's all I have. Okay. Oh, I'm not sorry about what I'm gonna do. Not one fucking bit. I can't wait to make you shit your fucking pants. Fuck. Da, 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 da. I'm not a three-headed troll. I forgot the name of the blacksmith shop, fuck. Uh, there we are. Hey, yo! <laughs> Giant turtle? Where the fuck Where's is the uh, arena? Where the hell is the arena? There it is. It's like a fucking goblin, a turtle, a snapping turtle, and a... Uh, giant, giant... Why is Roland just here? <laughs> Why is he here with three monsters, <laughs> goddammit? <laughs> aiming people. It's, it's just... I'm sorry, but that's just... Like, was like, oh yes, we have the giant tortoise, the giant troll... The giant scorpion and some random fucker named Roland. <laughs> Welcome to the arena. Whose parents was a minotaur and a mermaid and got the human halves of both. <laughs> I love Roland. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, four heads. I just looked at the picture again. Oh, instead of three? Okay. Oh, no, it's five heads. Five, five heads! Wait, Why does it keep heads? exponentially growing? <laughs> It is known as a Jotun troll. A Jotun troll? Ooh. Wait, what? Okay, so. A giant like the pic troll? The pictures like show five heads, but it says are gigantic nine headed horrors. I wonder if those are the adult ones, they grow them later. <laughs> Yep, it looks oh like it's got nine heads. Oh, did you send oh, a picture? Got, I think it's got some on the back, Jacob. On the back yeah. of its picture. Yeah. I didn't send a picture. I have a bestiary this... app on my phone from when I was running my campaign that comes with pictures. Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't have a visual reference without looking at the stats. And one is just a black scorpion, and the other is a mammoth turtle. You don't want to know what their kid is. Nope. They can roll a one and still hit you more than likely. So that's a, a combined Great. total of HP of 905. That's their combined. <laughs> yeah. I think my play. most powerful spell could probably do 30 damage. Well, actually, let's roll. Let's just see. Let's see. So six times six. Uh. Army. We'll double that for crit, and then that last three turns. I could, I could possibly do 216 damage max over the course of three turns with one spell. So, I mean, maybe not too bad. We could do it, guys. We got this. Yeah, we're so fucked. It's no, the, the <laughs> oh my god. Lowest... I think I gotta change my. I don't think Mr. P is into gold anymore. <laughs> uh, the lowest AC is 35. Have fun. Look, oh my god. What? 35? We can't hit that. I can hit it with a 20. Yeah, I have a yeah, plus we, 13. We, yeah, we got, I, can hit, hit I can hit that with a nat 20, and that's it. There hey, I guys. guess you'll figure it out next week. Oh, yeah. god. We'll see what happens. Oh, Shit. Roland! Wow, it's almost like God planned it this way. That's good. Oh no! It is the same. I would still like to mod for death, Roland, as I see him enter the battlefield. 
I just kill him. Which is a plus two to find him and a minus two for him to see me. So that if he collects a shit ton of money, because I don't think he has to pay the scorpion of the turtle, we can definitely still get paid. I could, I could see why he said, people are going to be betting against you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I mean, I I don't doubt this is like a, at least like 20 to 1, maybe more, in their favor. I'll be honest, I think we're the only one. ones dumb enough to <laughs> bet for us. We've been riding this high street, and the betting pool is probably laughing at us. Yeah, they're like, oh, these stupid idiots. Hey, that's okay, guys. Even <laughs> I guess... your father's like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't bet on them this time. Alright, after this, we go back to regular Pathfinder. <laughs> we can go find <laughs> monsters in a cave in a dungeon. <laughs> please. Please. All, all, of this, all this business stuff out the window. <laughs> Why we recover. Oh. Fuck that shit. Let's just go be real adventurers. The gladiator fights are not for us. Yeah, so. Let's go save a kingdom or some shit. <laughs> let's go raise the kingdom. Let's go this raise the kingdom. Wild. This is a little long perspective, though. Let's go, let's go find some goblins at the guild hall. Go to hit something a little funky. I have a fighter that I have set up. And at level 20, his to hit is plus 37. Yeah. To give you an idea of how strong things can get. And that probably still won't be enough to hit I some just, of these guys. I don't want to like metagame, but I kind of want to see his, uh, uh, what is it called? Isn't there a oh, creature 15? Okay. I just wanted to see how high that was. Oh, yeah. All right. But we got, we got this guys. Easy money. It won't even be a challenge. We add up to that level, we should be fine. <laughs> yeah, in total. Uh, this is what I tell you, that two of them are 15 and one is 14. The total, okay. the scorpion's 14, isn't it? No. Oh, it's a total? This is true. Okay, so Yolton Troll probably hits like a truck. Uh, scorpion's they probably hit like a truck. Well, yeah, but like, like just like a, like a hit radius. The scorpion probably poisons you for quite a bit, and the turtle probably. Is... Well, oh my poisoned. god, the black scorpion's got an AC of twenty-eight. <laughs> oh. it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We we got this. It'll be oh. it'll be fun. If we win, it'll be great. Thirty-eight. Oh my god. <laughs> So, <laughs> wow, it's almost like God has a plan. Yeah, I know you have a plan. I'm just excited. I'm and, terrified. And I guess the thing that be, we gotta be very terrified. And here I thought Roland had human partners I had to worry about. No, this troll. He yeah, doesn't guess... have any human friends. And this is day two, right? Yep. Yes, so. this is day two. This is not even day one. Correct. You got one more fight. Yeah, with the big pot. And then, so, whoever this person is is probably stronger than th all of these guys. His name is Avalon. Yep, Avalon. The big pot. Mounted Mondo. Hmm. We got the this longer, guy. The longer he is in combat, the stronger he seems to get. <gasps> it is him? I mean, Josh has literally seen him fight. I've already assumed it is him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I guess if you put the two fights that you the party has put together, you can all also kind of notice um, he's getting fucking bored. Yep. He's the one who likes a good fight, right? Possibly. No, that that was the trait of that lord. I thought, not the dual one, the one that's fighting. Uh, loves fighting, gets stronger the longer he is in a fight. The other one is loves to be challenged to duels. Yeah. Lord Bradley Richard.
What if we just convince the bed guy that we're not worth fighting, and he just gives up because he's bored and leaves? No, he'll go, fine, I'll kick your ass and then leave. You oh, know that's what get... he'll do. That's literally what he did to the last group! Oh! I'm all getting paid for my suffering. Oh! Is that a time Oh, big brain. Big brain. No. Oh. So said we just sit here and wait till they tap him out for- Wait a minute, long. Josh! What? Your sister's strong, right? Yeah. Convince him to take a dive and you'll introduce him to your sister. Jacob smiley, cause that might actually work. <laughs> That'll be so bad for you guys, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be bad for us. Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. Hey, Mr. Devil. Um Would you like to I can uh, set you up with his sister. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end my stream. Alright. This Me was too. fun. I'm a dead one.